I am Christy Taylor, the Executive Director of the Texas Judicial Commission on Mental Health. Welcome to the sixth annual Judicial Summit on Mental Health. I look forward to the positive change that we can collectively bring. Look at this crowd. So exciting. <laughs> Thank you for being a part of this momentous event. I would like to recognize the JCMH staff at this point. Patrick Passmore, Willett Sedwick, Cynthia Martinez, Rose McBride, Andy Perkins, Senior Attorney Molly Davis, who authored the beautiful juvenile bench book that you were handed when you checked in, and Senior Attorney Kama Harris, who has led the summit for the third time and also authored the adult bench book that you were handed out. Let's give them an applause. I'd also like to thank our chairs of the JCMH. They provide the steadfast leadership that makes this work. And they are here to welcome you with opening remarks. So first I'll introduce Justice Jane Bland. She has been a state court judge for over 25 years and is a justice on the Supreme Court of Texas. Good afternoon. Welcome, everyone. So great to be here with you in person. And for those of you that are joining online, hello. Uh, we've got a, a, if you can see the ballroom, then you see that we've got a ballroom full of people. We have more than 1,100 people signed up to participate in this conference, either in person or online. We appreciate so much your efforts to be here, to collaborate and learn more about uh, things that you can use in your communities to improve uh, the lives of those with mental health or intellectual and developmental disability challenges. We have people here from over 140 Texas counties, and we have 12 uh, states represented as well from coast to coast, from California all the way over to Washington, D.C. So those of you that are not from Texas, welcome. We're so glad you're here. Texas is a pioneer in a commission of this sort when the Judicial Commission on Mental Health was formed. In uh, 2018, there were almost nothing like there was almost nothing else like it in the country. A joint project of the Supreme Court of Texas and the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals, and our mission is to empower and engage the justice system to improve the lives of individuals who are uh, who have mental health needs. We all have mental health needs, but specific uh, mental health challenges that. Uh, have at some, in some way intersected with the justice system. And that may be as a result of substance use disorders or simply uh, intellectual and developmental disabilities or some diagnosed mental illness. We hope that uh, our work at the JCMH engages and empowers courts to help them better serve people with these challenges and to provide a platform for all of us to leverage that know-how and expand it uh, to places in our state that can use uh, guidance and best practices from your local community and that you'll share that and in turn uh, collaborate and learn something from others. So that's the whole purpose of the conference. We've built in a lot of time uh, for you all to get to know each other and learn about what's going on in your various uh, parts of the state, hopefully, and hopefully take home uh, either uh, information about practices in other areas of the state or uh, about uh, subject matter areas from experts uh, across the mental health field. We have Everybody uh, from caseworkers, mental health professionals, law enforcement, uh, obviously the judiciary, and many others who are people with lived experience and many others who are involved in our mental health uh, uh, service system and who have ideas that you might benefit from learning about. Uh, and if you see anybody with badges with ribbons at the bottom, chances are that's a member of our commission or our collaborative council. Uh, please introduce yourselves. They're here to help you. And if you have questions, um, 
just feel free to go up to any one of them and they can either help or direct you to someone uh, who can help. And at this point, I'd like to ask our commissioners who are such a vital part of our uh, work in this area to please stand. We're very grateful for these people who uh, year-round devo devote their time, their extra time, and most of them don't have extra time, uh, to, uh, to this effort. And in addition, I'd like to recognize members of our Collaborative Council who are people who are involved in uh, either mental health care, uh, the justice system, uh, uh, the, uh, criminal justice, various aspects of uh, mental health across our state who are important resources to the commission. So if you are part of the Collaborative Council, please stand. All right, and uh, we have so many wonderful speakers. It's uh, really amazing the kind of uh, talent that we have to, uh, to, to guide us through the next couple of days. If you want to learn more about the speakers, you can find full biographies in the, at the Summit website, uh, and you can look at them there. Uh, and I want to take this opportunity to thank, in particular, our jurist and resident, Judge Brent Carr, where is Judge Carr? There he is, back there. Uh, he had a coat and tie on, I thought. Something something happened over lunch. Uh, he, uh, he is the person that has, not just this year, but for many years, chaired the curriculum committee for our summit. And he and the curriculum committee members have brought to you just a stellar group of people. And I look forward to learning a lot from them over the next couple of days. And at this point, I'm going to turn it over to my colleague, the, uh, who is a judge on the Court of Criminal Appeals. And we co-chair the commission together, Judge Barbara. Barbara Hervey. Judge Hervey uh, was elected to the Court of Criminal Appeals in 2000. So quick math, 23rd year. And she finds time to devote herself to this commission as its co-chair. Please welcome Judge Barbara Hervey. Thank you, Christy, and good afternoon to all of you. I am so thrilled to see so many people with big hearts, good ideas, and a desire to help the system. I personally, uh, my mother passed away a couple years ago. She had Alzheimer's, and I have a special needs son. So I really appreciate learning from all of you and sharing uh, what I've learned over the years with you. I'm proud to serve as one of the uh, co-chairs of this historic and collaborative commission, and it's wonderful to see all of you, whether you're a judge, a stakeholder, or an, just an interested person. Um, my co-chair, Justice Bland, and I have several goals for this summit. We hope you gain new ideas and connections with colleagues. We hope you are encouraged and inspired to be courageous, to act um, despite feeling fearful, sometimes you know, you're afraid to tell us what you think. Don't be afraid. We want to listen to what you have to say, what you have to offer. And if you have questions, Jane and I are easy to track down. <laughs> We're in the same building. Uh, we know that the work you're doing can be grueling, and, and we commend you for that tenacity. Change takes time, and you're not alone in this. There are so many dedicated individuals and organizations standing with you today. We hope that you join us for refreshments at the networking reception this evening, and that you'll take uh, home some helpful information and resources from the many organizations who have set up resource booths. Collaboration is another goal of the summit. And in that spirit, I'd like to direct your attention to the eight tra training organizations that are funded by my court, the Court of Criminal Appeals. If you're not familiar with these organizations, please take a minute, not right now, but a minute and look at their websites and learn more. They create many free resources for judges and attorneys, and I would like to recognize them at this time. We have the Texas Center for the Judiciary, the Texas Municipal Courts Education Center, the Texas Justice Courts Training Center, 
the Center for American International Law, the Texas Association of Counties, the, the Texas District and County Attorneys Association, the Texas Criminal Defense Lawyers Association, and the Texas District Court Alliance. These organizations are charged with training across many subject matter areas, and somehow they always find time to train on mental health as well. Uh, most of these organizations have participated uh, with some um, commission um, concepts, and hopefully they will continue to uh, collaborate so that we can have as much training as possible, particularly with the criminal justice system. Another important goal of this summit is to help spread the word about what's going well with the Texas mental health law and learn more about what needs to be amended. The JCMH Legislative Research Committee, chaired by our good friend, Bill Boyce, Vice Chair, created proposals this past legislative session, resulting in five proposals being passed into law. I'd like to thank Representative Joe Moody and Senator Judith Zaffarini, who sponsored these mental health laws. The Legislative Committee, believe it or not, will begin working on new ideas, new proposals in just a few weeks. Always got to start, you know, early and get ahead of uh, the legislature with what they want to accomplish. We'll be listening to the summit presenters as well as your questions and comments to help guide us for the future and what we need to work on next. If you do have a question from one of our speakers, please use one of the microphones so we can hear you both in the room and for those online. And I'd like to direct your attention to two new innovative commission projects that will be launched at this summit. The Mental Health Law Plan and the Mental Health Courts Collaborative. The Mental Health Law Plan is a toolkit with end-to-end -end guidance. In handling cases with a mental health component, you'll, uh, that's what they're going to do. You'll hear more about the mental health law plan in one of the plenary sessions tomorrow. The Mental Health Courts uh, Collaborative launches tomorrow morning with a coffee gathering in the Garden K room, a C-A-Y room, at 745. Judges who are interested in taking, uh, in starting rather, a mental health court program or who need support for mental health court programs should stop by, get some coffee, and learn more and pick up an application. My advice for you, whether you're state, uh, attending for the first time or the sixth time, is to start collaborating to today. Make sure you connect with your colleagues. Don't be afraid to talk to each other or to us and uh, across whatever disciplines you happen to be attached to. Let's make the best of this uncommon opportunity to have such great minds in the same room. Just great, not just great minds, big hearts. Thank you for your dedication to this work and for being part of the solution. Thank you.